Dave Smith here. So this is uh, another of my uh, short videos on zines and collecting zines. And I'm going to talk about these three. Uh, I'm going to talk them, about them separately, but these are all from a photographer called Mark Valley. Uh, and they're all very much uh, along the same kind of theme. Um, and I bought these recently. I'm going, to, I'm going to do one video at a time on these. And we will start with this one, number 13. Uh, Mark Valley is a photographer who, documentary photographer, in, living I think in London now. Uh, I think he's French and he's living in London. And he documents uh, youth culture. And these three zines seem to be viewing youth culture in terms of uh, graffiti, um, but not just. Uh, and all of these three zines are all very similarly produced. Um, the papers are uncoated papers, the prints are very lovely, um, full bleed images, staple bound. Uh, and this one, number 13, uh, I don't quite remember where the number 13 comes from, uh, maybe says it in the uh, forward, <coughs> who knows. But I really like uh, the production of these works. Uh, and I've, I've, you've seen my zine and I may well change mine to uh, stitch bound in future. Um, I just don't think that the perfect bound lay flat enough for uh, double page spreads and uh, panoramas, for example. So I may change that in the future. But that's number 13. We'll take a closer look at that and you can have a look for yourselves. I would suggest that you consider, if you're interested in photographers and photography, I would consider that you, suggest that you consider getting your own copies of these zines. It's a really good way to to support photographers and their work, but also for you to collect uh, photography uh, and sort of see what what's going on with um, uh, with the job, with the work of other people and what's happening in photography. Anyway, let's take a closer look at the images. Okay, so here we are. This is the first of those uh, th of three uh, of these that I have bought. These are zines by Mark Valley. So we've previously seen uh, the two from uh, Static Age, uh, which were more little booklets. We've seen my perfect bound uh, zine, and this is a, a much um, uh, a much more traditional zine uh, production. Let's have a look at the uh, images. So this is number 13 by Mark Valley. And he starts, he's got a, a forward by uh, Alexander Clay. And then a, a full bleed image uh, across two pages. This is a staple bound uh, zine, all in black and white. Uh, okay, so we're not going to look at every image, uh, we're just going to have a little flick through this book. But these are all uh, full bleed black and white images and I do, I do like uh, the production of this. Uh, it's, not, uh, it's not a glossy uh, production in the way that the Static Age uh, booklets were or my zine was. And I may, uh, I may change to this kind of uh, arrangement myself in the future. Um, and then there's this sort of um, index here at the back. Really, uh, really a fine um, booklet. Uh, not by any means uh, cheap. Um, these were, I think, £10 each. Uh, but great images and a nice story by Mark. Uh, so if you want to uh, get your own copy of these then uh, it's M Mark Valet. I'll try and leave um, a link to his website in the description uh, of this video. Hi, Dave Smith here. 
So this is another of the series on uh, zines. It's the, an ongoing project. It's, uh, I think I said previously, it's my intention to be collecting and making my own zines. And we've seen a video with my 48 hours in Macau zine. And in this little set, we're looking at three zines from a photographer called Mark Valley. We saw, uh, I bought these three recently. We saw a video about number 13. And in this video, we're going to look at uh, Down and Up in Paris. Very similar to the, uh, to the, uh, the number 13. Similar in layout, the production is very similar. Nice saddle stitch, full bleed images, all black and white, all nighttime shots. And I really like these, uh, these photographs. I wondered whether I would like this, this um, production this sort of saddle stitched, uncoated paper uh, feels to me like the cover is made very much of the same paper stock as the interior. Um, I wasn't sure what I thought about that, um, but actually it's growing on me and it might well be that, uh, that I make a, a change to my own zines. I used a perfect bound. I keep pointing over there because that's where my zines are stacked. Uh, I made a perfect bound uh, zine, but I really quite like this more traditional approach, this hark back to um, where zines came from, really. So uh, I'm considering whether that's something that I do myself. We, we, we shall see. So this is uh, Down and Up in Paris, very similar to number 13. Um, very beautiful set of images, nicely printed, even though the paper feels like it's uncoated paper uh, and you know well worth a look so let's take a look at the images okay so here's another uh, zine by Mark Valley uh, I bought uh, three of these all together uh, this is Down and Up in Paris by Mark Valley. You can see he's got this sort of standard uh, production of this uh, stitched black and white. He's got an image that goes right across the front and back covers. Uh, really quite a nice production, I think. Uh, then he's got uh, a forward by uh, Rachel Siegel Hamilton. Uh, I'm not sure if I would have done this on stark white, given how the rest of the thing looks, but that's, uh, that's how it is. Uh, nice image. And then we, again, we've got his, what seems to be his style of uh, full bleed uh, black and white images across these pages. Okay. And he seems, these all seem to be about uh, sort of graffiti. Uh, this one is in Paris. And this guy is uh, specializing in uh, youth culture. Hence, I guess, the graffiti images. <laughs> You'd hope there was a bit more to youth culture than that. Uh, but no index to the prints this time. So again, uh, I'll try and leave a link if you're interested in getting a copy of that. Uh, nice images, nicely produced uh, on this sort of stapled background. And this, this sort of layout, this production is very um, reminiscent of early zines, which were typically Xeroxed and stapled at home, uh, really, rather than these slick uh, printer made um, booklets. Now I think he sent this out to a printer, I don't think he's put this together himself. Uh, I could be wrong. Um, I might drop him a line and ask him actually. Um, but I really like these, they're very uh, traditional uh, of the zine um, genre I would say. Uh, of course uh, all the printing houses are got on the back of this now and offer these slick uh, versions, but these I like. So I'll leave the link in the description if you're interested in getting your own copy. Uh, by all means do.
Hi, Dave Smith here. So this is the third video in my little set on the Mark Valley uh, zines, um, photographer from London. And this time we're going to look at uh, the graffiti trucks of London. Put those to one side. Uh, again, you can see it's a very similar uh, setup. And the cover image there seems to be repeated in the center spread there. Um, on this one, I hadn't really noticed that before. I wonder if that's the same in these others. Yeah, so the cover image is the center spread in uh, down and up in Paris. And not so in number 13. I would quite like it, it because he tends to do this. Right, so that inside front and inside back is a full bleed image uh, ac across the whole lot, but it's broken up by the body of the zine. So I would have quite liked it if he'd put that image in the center rather than the front page, back page image. But anyway, there you go. Uh, so very similar again, all black and white, all shot at night time and all full bleed images. Uh, and as I've said before, if you are interested in photography and uh, then the, these kinds of things, whether it's these zines, the, my zines, static age zines or zines from anywhere else, this is a really good way to collect photography. It's a good way to, uh, to get in touch with the zeitgeist of what's happening in, uh, in photography um, in the 21st century, I, I would say, uh, and also a good way to support the work of photographers uh, whose images you like. Uh, so I, I, you know, I, I would suggest that uh, that you have a look into that. It's a very cheap way of collecting photography and supporting photographers. Uh, I love them, and I will be collecting many more. And as I collect them, I'll do some more of these videos, uh, as I've said. And maybe uh, I'm aiming to put out one of these videos a month, but it might be more frequently than that could be less frequently. Uh, we'll see how it works out. So let's have a look at the images in uh, the Graffiti Trucks of London by Mark Valley. If you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description and I will try and collect a, a, a set of links of providers of zines uh, if you're interested in checking those out as well. So here we are, this is the third of the uh, Mark Valley zines uh, that I purchased recently and you can see his production is still very similar, it's got this full bleed image across the front and back covers. This is the Graffiti Trucks of London. If you're hearing that banging by the way, let me apologise, that's the neighbours still having worked and been at it for weeks. Okay, uh, Dr Theo... Uh, Kin Dynis uh, gives us the forward this time. <coughs> and uh, then you've got the typical full bleed images. And he's just taken uh, images of all these trucks around London that, <laughs> that have been graf graffitied, which is quite a nice idea, really. Uh, you know, I kind of like that. And these are not massive zines by any means. Um, but they are nice uh, images, nice nighttime images and uh, a good theme, I would say. He doesn't seem to be repeating that um, sort of index panel of images that show you everything that's going on um, anymore, uh, which I thought was, was pretty good. Uh, and you see that, that image there on the inside front cover is a full bleed image that's interrupted by the body of the, of the booklet. I'm not I'm not sure if that works really for me, but um, there it is. So again, uh, I'll, I'll leave the link in the description if you want to get your own copy. And that, I, I, would, I would suggest that you do. These are a, these sort of little zines, whether they're of this value or my zines or the static age zines, and I will be getting some more. They're a great way to experience um, photography, to collect photography yourself and 
they're not that expensive. It's not like buying a huge piece of wall art or, or, or something. You can just collect and support photographers that whose work you're interested in for actually pretty pretty well little money. Uh, the static age zines I think cost me I don't know ten pounds ish. These were ten pounds ish each. Mine are eight pounds each. It's not a lot of money, and it's a really good way of supporting the work of photographers that you uh, that you like. Uh, and there are plenty out there. Uh, if uh, I might collect a whole bunch of uh, of links actually, and uh, uh, put them somewhere, uh, maybe on my website or on my on the links. In the descriptions in these uh, videos. Uh, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Anyway, I hope this little set has been uh, of interest. Uh, and if you do start collecting, then let me know what you think. If you come across zines that you think are really good, drop me a line. I'd love to take a look myself. I, I am intending to get myself a bit of a collection of zines. Uh, and there's uh, there's another project in my life that's caused me to uh, to focus on this stuff and uh, there'll be a video about that fairly soon I think. Okay, so that's it for the Mark Valley zines for now. I hope that's been of interest. Bye for now.